San Jose will vote on a new measure that can actually limit where homeless encampments can actually settle. City leaders say this is needed to keep schools safer. Converse will trend is live in San Jose to explain more on that proposed ordinance. Good morning, Will. So what's going to happen, Raina, in a few hours from now? The city council members will vote on a few measures. The one measure actually was on the books for about three years now, but it was more like guidelines. They want to actually make it a law. What's going to happen is, if it is passed, homeless encampments cannot be any closer to schools than 150 feet. It's been on the books for three years, but they really never added any teeth to it. Now they want to do it. Here's what's going to happen. You will be cited if you're a homeless person 150 feet or closer to a school, but they're not going to take any money from you. It is just going to cite you, talk to you, tell you to move away from that area because a lot of a school administrators, parents, and students have said they don't feel safe walking around homeless as they are heading to their schools. That's one measure. The other measure is where RVs can park. Now, you might think RVs, you know what, a lot of people use it, but in San Jose, typically, a lot of RV users are people who don't live in traditional houses. What they want to do is put up signs and they still have to do studies about it before they put up the signs. But if it is enacted, they will put up no parking signs near schools. They will talk to the driver and say, you know what, you have to move away from here. And if you don't, you will be towed. There are places where they can park RVs, but right now they're quickly filling up. San Jose needs to find other places, but they say definitely those places for now will not be schools. Back to you. All right, well, thank you for that breakdown there.